Well, how you doing, everybody? So glad to be with you today and to share God's word. This is our Monday Manna, um, and it is my privilege to come and share God's word with you this morning. I want you to know also that we do twice a week um, prayer meetings live on Facebook at marshamansor.com. They have been such a blessing. In the course of 24 hours, there are over 2,000 people that watch it and pray with us. So it has been a tremendous blessing. Look out for them. I always post them on my page. You'll know in advance. I never you know the days as the Lord leads me. I do them um, this week. It'll be Wednesday at 915 live on Facebook. You'd want to join us for prayer. We have a great time. God meets us. And what is incredible is that we have not had a prayer meeting yet where someone has not been healed. God has done miraculous work and he continues to do miraculous work. So please come be a part with us as we pray this Wednesday at 915. I want to share God's word with you today. It's found in the book of Joel. Joel chapter 2, verse 13. Joel chapter 2, verse 13. It says, So rend your hearts and not your garments. Return to the Lord, for he is gracious and merciful. He's slow to anger and of great kindness, and he will relent from doing harm. This is an incredible scripture, and I, and I want you to hear what the Lord is saying. Israel is in great trouble, and they are um, repenting. But they are repenting with their mouth. That's why the Bible says they are rendering their garments. They're ripping their garments, which was a symbol of repentance. But the Lord said, I don't want you to rend your garments. I want you to rend your hearts. I want you to rip your heart open. I want you to repent it that way. I don't want you to do the outward adoration of repentance or godliness or holiness. It's not, it's not impressive to God. God says, rend your hearts. Repent for real. Let your heart cry for repentance. Let your heart be grieved for what you've done and for the time that we're in right now, for what our nation has done. We rend our hearts, not our garments. He says, return to the Lord, for he is gracious and merciful. He's slow to anger and of great kindness, and he will relent from doing harm. Repentance turns the heart of God. Arrogance, pride, God abhors but he gives grace to the humble. Humility is a key to repentance. If I am humble and I realize that what I have done grieves God, and we, we as human beings, we do plenty of things that grieve God. And the, the key, the key to walking in the will of God and walking in fellowship with God and walking in favor with God is to live a repentance life. That's the key. You want God's blessing in your life. You always want a flow from heaven. You want God and you to have great communication and there be no blockages. You want to walk in his will. You want to hear him. You want to be touched by him. You want the touch of God in your life. Live in repentance. Live your life on the altar of repentance. Live your life constantly allowing the spirit of God to convict you. <coughs> Excuse me, to correct you. Constantly allow the spirit of God to deal with you. Because this is the deal. We can rend our garments and we can look very holy. The, the Philistines, uh, the Pharisees and, and the Sadducees, they used to rip their garments to look holy. They used to throw ash on their face to look like they were grieving. And God said they are a brood of vipers. He saw right through all those heirs because God's not interested in heirs. God's interested in sincerity. God is interested in humility. And he's looking for people that are going to live humble. They're going to live repentant. They're going to care about the things that God cares about. They're going to live their word under the umbrella of his word. That I come under his word and everything that his word says, I do. Everything that his word corrects, I correct in my own life. And when I fail God, I don't put on the airs of repentance. I repent. I rent my heart before God. And the Bible says that when you do that, you turn to God. He is merciful. He's slow to anger. He's slow to anger. And he will relent <clears throat> from doing harm. God is telling Israel, if you repent, you'll save your whole nation. If you repent, us, you'll save your whole nation. We need to look and say that the church right now needs to live in repentance, needs to live rendering their hearts before God, and God will turn. God will turn. God will do a miracle in our midst. But God is looking for people that are willing to live repentant, willing to live under the ordinances of the word of God, willing to live a life that fears displeasing God, looking for people that are willing to be holy 
and live holy and live righteous. Not because they have a mean, evil God that's going to beat them up, but because they have a God that is so loving and so gracious and so merciful, and he's slow to anger. We live in, in, in a place of humility because God is worthy, and we've given him our life. So I want to give you the key today to living in, in harmony with God. The key is very simple. The key is repentance. The key is walking a repentant you, you, you life of humility before God. You will see that your life will look very different when you are constantly allowing the Holy Spirit to convict you and to put you in the right place with God. Father, I pray, Lord God, for everyone who is listening today, God, I pray, God, that you would teach us what pleases you will teach us, God, <clears throat> what doesn't please you, Lord God. You will show us your will, your purpose, Lord God. And that, Father, we would live a life repentant, rendering our hearts, not just our garments, rendering our lives, not just with our words. Oh, God, let us not draw close to you with our words, but our hearts are far from you, God. Let us render our hearts before you so that our lives would please you. Father, we, we repent today, Lord God. For anything that we've done to displease you, Lord God, any attitude, Lord God, any thought processes, Lord God, any actions, Lord God, that don't bring you glory, we repent today, God. We rend our hearts before you, Lord God. And Father, we repent for our nation, Lord God. We rend our hearts for our nation, Lord God, because we recognize that you are getting our attention, Lord God. And Father, so we hear you, God. And Father, we ask you to turn, Lord God, and, and show mercy, Lord God. Rend our, we rend our hearts before you, Lord God. And we pray, Lord God, that you would touch our land and heal it, Lord God. Come to a work in our midst, Lord God. We are your children. We're listening. We put our life on the altar of humility and repentance today, God. And we say, Lord, have your way in us and through us. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. I will see you all on Wednesday. Prayerfully, love to have you pray with us on Facebook Live. Marsha Mansour Ministries or Reverend Marsh, either one is fine. Rev R E V, Marsha Mansour. Would love to have you come pray with us. Be a part of what God is doing and uh, have a fantastic week. Love you guys.